Hi, I'm Clark Davis, an ambassador for scholarshipauditions.com, and today I have a very special guest with me. So this guy has composed for Broadway and TV and movies and everything in between. So today I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Greg Sims. <laughs> Thanks, Clark. Of course. Well, let's hop right in. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the movies that you've worked on. Um, well, I see when I started, my first two films were um, animated features, which uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, that, and I've always loved animated movies, so that was a good good choice for me. Um, and I was lucky. The, f the very first ones had uh, like Jim Belushi was in it, Carrot Top, uh, um, and then uh, did another one. Um, Michael Madsen, Scott Eastwood, people like that were in it. So uh, it was a lot of fun, uh, you know, putting music to uh, to those things. And when I first started. Um, I, I thought, gosh, do I? It was overwhelming. Do I even know what I'm doing? You know. So, I, after the first, uh, after the first one, I felt pretty good. And then after the second one, I thought, oh, I can do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I think it's like anything in life. You, um, you can have, you have to do it to to yeah. to, to really uh, learn how um, how to do the craft. So it's um, there's all the learning and you know and stuff. And especially with film, you've got to learn. Not only you know the music and study music for years, and um, but then you got to learn the craft of of uh, film, of where to put it, of syncing it, where when you should when should you have music, and what emotion should it be, and from what point of view, and all. There's so many things, and then you have to have people skills <laughs> so, because you'll have lots Important. of people you'll have lots of people with lots of different opinions and mm -hmm. how to how to manage all that. So it's a, uh, uh, and then you have to be an engineer. So at the end of the day, so it's um, it's a challenging field. So. But, and then recently I've done some documentaries, uh, which has been a lot of fun. Um, uh, Sylvester Stallone, I had always wanted to do a um, documentary about the making of Rocky, which you probably have never heard of. No, I love Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, that's coming out soon. And, uh, wow. But that was, a, that was just for meeting, meeting someone who then got that job and I knew them. And so I, another thing I would say is um, it's, you know, it's meeting people. Mm -hmm. I think that's any business. It's, that's really important. Uh, I used to get bogged down in just learning. I just, you know, leave me alone. I just want to play music and write music, and and uh, you won't survive very long. <laughs> that, unless you're, you know, simply amazing or something, you know. Yeah. But if you uh, uh, just, um, I think, uh, learning to meet people and get to know people. What an important key. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. So I was reading through your bio a little bit, and and. It doesn't look like you just woke up one morning and decided that you were going to become a composer, right? You you yeah. definitely had a path to getting you there. And, and I was looking on here, and it says that you played saxophone mm -hmm. in middle school. So tell us about your middle school band experience. Yeah. Well, my yeah, my first love was piano, and I don't remember not playing the piano. It was mm -hmm. like I was like four, and uh, but sax I fell in love with the saxophone. I don't know why. I probably heard Boots Randolph or some some strange uh, on 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 television or something. But I got obsessed with it, and um, so we, I was in middle school at the time, and so my family, I think we rented a horn. And then uh, later on, I, I was excelling pretty well, and they ended up buying me a really good instrument. So, uh, so yeah, I just kept playing. I, so I was doing the piano the lessons and the, and the you know, saxophone. And, uh, and I kept playing saxophone, and I ended up getting a, a band scholarship uh, wow. with my saxophone, even though my major was piano and jazz. So anyway. Mm, okay. So and I did come in handy for that. <laughs> yeah, right? Honing yeah. all of those different musical talents, I mean, they, they begin to play into each other for sure. Right. And you can see, as, like the end goal was to be a film composer, which really wasn't in my head at that time. I couldn't even imagine that being a possibility. I realize now that being able to play woodwind instruments and mm. you know, all different instruments, it really helps with you know, learning the orchestra. And I played violin and snow for a while too. So. Oh, wow. And I saw here also that you auditioned for All State Band and that you kept making it. <laughs> yeah, I was in All State Band a couple of years, I think. Yeah, so that was always it, I was always fun, and you know, I liked to. There was always, you know, there was always the one guy that was better than everyone else, and we were all trying. We were all trying to be that guy, but I was uh, I was good enough that I usually made All State. So, so that, that was always fun. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah. 
Well, if you are interested in becoming a musician for a living, it is definitely possible. We've been here with Greg Sims and the path is definitely achievable. A great way to start is to complete your profile on scholarshipauditions.com and that will gain you access to schools all over the country and the world. So if you are interested in becoming a professional musician, this is where you start. This is Clark Davis with scholarshipauditions.com.